Hi there and welcome to your hip thrust progressions and regressions video. So for your hip thrust, we are going to preferably use something like this near a box is really, really comfortable. You can use a soft plyo box, you can use a bench, however, height wise, they're not great. Um, so if you've got one of these, go for it. In the house, um, obviously we don't have this kind of equipment, so you're using a sofa, something like that, and you wouldn't be going into barbells, I highly doubt at that point. Um, you could probably be working with dumbbells or single legs, but there's loads of things that you can do. All right, so initially, we want to make sure that we don't rely on our elbows because this isn't a hip thrust at that point. So you're pushing in to the knee of the box. Usually if there's a wall here, I put a plate behind because we don't want our heads hitting the wall. Um, and then we're pushing up against that. Once I feel like I'm quite comfortably close here, I'm keeping my hands off and I'm going to pop my hands onto my tummy if I don't have a weight. And from here, I'll bring my feet in nice and close. Take an inhale and as I exhale, I'm just going to scoop my hips up like so. And then I'm coming up into this nice tabletop position. I'm not hanging my head back here because I'm going to hurt my neck. So I'm gazing forward the whole time. I'm again not holding my neck so tensely that it's going to end up sore. It's nice and loose, but with that, gaze forward. So this is my hip thrust position. You can put a wee squeeze on my glutes here. You can play about with this position. If you feel it more in your cores, it might mean that your feet are too close to you. So if you feel it more in your hamstrings, it might mean that your feet are a little bit too far away. So just play about with that position. Otherwise, you're coming down and back up. And when I say if you feel it in your cores and your hamstrings, you're going to feel it there anyway, but we want to predomin predominantly feel it in the glutes. Um, so if you're quite happy with that, we can start to load it. So we can use a dumbbell to load it. If you just grab something that's suitable, the dumbbells aren't hugely comfortable if I'm honest, so if there's anything you can pop on your hips, that's great. And you're just doing the same thing, so don't rest your elbows on anything at all. And then we're scooping those hips up and coming up and being careful not to overshoot the hips like so. So we just want to come up into that tabletop position. So hips in line with knees and shoulders and back down again. So we can load it with a dumbbell. We can also, body weight wise, just load it by picking a foot up. So I'm here, I'm in this position, hands on my tummy. I'm going to pick my bum up a wee bit and then just pick a foot up. And then we're just coming up and keeping that foot up the whole time. Bum comes down, bum comes back up again, or hips. Hips down, hips back up again. Keeping that foot up off the ground the whole time. So I'll do a certain amount of reps on this side and then the same on the other side. And from here, we can also go into our barbell as well. So I specifically didn't load this one because it might be that you're ready for the barbell, but you're not ready to load it yet. And also I want to show you how to load it. So we are here, we want the pad on the barbell so it's not digging into our hips. Again, we're up nice and close. Make sure that pad's right in the middle, otherwise this is going to fall to one side. Hands on, and we're doing the same again. So finding that foot position that works to target our glutes. Taking a nice inhale here, exhale. I'm going to scoop my hips, push against this box, and then I'm coming up so that my hips are aligned with my knees and my shoulders, and then back down again. And then if I want to load it, that's nice and easy as well. So it's a wee bit tricky dealing with the bar when it's not got the plates on it. So I'll just pop a couple of plates on and show you what we do here. So to load the plates on, just grab whatever is suitable for you and then you're going to pop them onto one side. Like so. And just picking that up. So making sure that you're in a good position that this isn't going to go into the lower back. So my hips aren't up here. I'm popping that on nice and safely. And then I'm just going to clip it on. Like so. And I'll do the same on the other side. Coming in, watching your tootsies. And you can have someone else holding this for you as well. But again, make sure you're utilising your joints at every point here. You don't want to be going into a back bend and forcing all of that force into your lower back. That's not good for us. And you can step in this way to pull this on, or you can step over the bar, lifting it up with one hand, pushing it in with the other. If you feel this in your lower back at all, Get someone to help you because it's not worth it to do it in your lower back or hip thrust. 
it's all right. Okay, so you're just pulling it back in again, once it's weighted like so, bring the feet in nice and close, and we're just doing the same thing again. So my hands are on, everything's in the centre, inhale, exhale, pushing my hips up, in that tabletop position, holding for a wee second, and then coming back down again, and making sure that I'm predominantly feeling it in my glutes. If not, I can play about with that foot position, and then I can just roll it back out again. If you've got anything here that's feeling really sore when you're doing your hip thrust, if there's a little bit of loose skin, maybe there's been some babies in there, anything at all, just make sure to sort everything out. Maybe when you're in that hips up position, you can move things around a wee bit. It's really useful as well. Um, okay, let's unload. So we would unload the first side. So again, don't compromise your back by doing anything in this position or locking out your knees. We need to be squatting down to do all of this. So we'll take our clips off, put them out the way so we don't fall over them when we've got big equipment. Um, using my knees, so I'm coming down into a little bit of a squat. I'm going to pick this up or get someone else to pick it up for me. And then I just shove that off, making sure there's no toes there to get in the load. And for the other side, we'll do the same again. Clip comes off, I get rid of that and I would have got rid of that weight preferably as well, we don't want things lying about. And then all we do is we pick this side up. So I'm going to bring this up and we're going to let that one fall to the floor naturally. Like so, squatting down to pick up and then I don't destroy the walls. Put this wherever it needs to go. Okay, so good luck with that. Any issues at all, um, just get in contact. This should be programmed by a professional, so do not do this if it's not programmed by a professional. Always have someone with you that knows what they're doing when you're dealing with these big heavy weights. Otherwise, just go into your single leg body weight. It's not easy anyway, <laughs> so go with that. Better to be safe than sorry. Good luck and don't hesitate to contact me for any help.